Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I wanted to show you guys a couple of advanced tips or So this next tip is probably one that most beginners would have no idea and that is that the crane can be a huge lifesaver. So in this specific one we're going to be talking about tipping over. So let's say this hill up here if you were to go a little bit too far to your right pop open your crane and it can save you from an engine stall if you get it off in time now it won't always you know but uh, yeah once you get the crane out you just extend away from you and it can pop you back up obviously circumstances can be different but uh, for the most part if you see yourself falling and it's to the right because the cranes open to the right so if you're falling to the right you pop open that crane it can save you and then you can just extend it and it'll slowly push you back up and another one is, if you guys are stuck like this, every once in a while, your crane might be able to help you out. So if you put it down, like, kind of like this, you're, you're going to want to angle it off behind you. So something like this, and you want to try and get it really, sorry about the camera shaking there, really downward. And you're going to want to kind of force it back. And then if you can do that, let's see if we can get it. There we go. We got a good spot. Look at that push. Look at that. We're not even doing anything. We're just extending away from us. We just moved like five feet. Oh, now we're now we're losing some ground. Let's get it back in. Oh, we didn't get a good spot. There we go. Another spot. Look at her go. And sometimes you can do that because now we got about ten feet. Well, maybe not ten. You can sometimes uh, put those together and Maybe now you uh, go to your attached winch and now you're close enough to another tree or something like that. And you can just uh, restore your crane, pull yourself forward, and you're good to go. So uh, basically just keep in mind that cranes can be extremely, extremely helpful, especially early game when you're working with highway tires and stuff like this, when these spots back here can be like just super hard. Just keep in mind you have a crane. It's going to be a big one for you. This is one that took me quite a while to learn, but let's just say we're driving and we get quite stuck in, in this deep mud. So as you can see, we're quite far away. So when we're pulling on this, we're going pretty good. But when you get closer to something, the pull gets less and less. And it's kind of probably going to be hard to show you actually in this spot because we're going to climb right out. But um, Let's just say we got pretty stuck here and we're not we're not pulling very much. Instead of attaching to the front of our truck and going right here, what you can do is attach further back in your truck and that's going to give you more rope, which then basically gives you more pull again. So we'll just pull from here. And it might not sound like a very useful tip, but trust me, when you get really stuck and you're like pulling yourself all the way up to one of these. All right, and the next tip I have is when you guys run into breakable ice, so this stuff on the right isn't breakable, but this stuff where it's all cracky is breakable. So you can fall through this stuff. So if I'll uh, drive out here quick, I don't want to go too deep because I'll probably fall. Okay, we're starting to fall in, but yeah, if you, if you were to keep driving on that, you'd fall in. So if you're out on the ice and you can see like kind of where this cuts off right here this line basically this is this is drivable and then all this is stuff you'll fall through but if you get onto these big ice chunks right here these are safe to drive on so if you can find a path and drive on this you're gonna be okay you just gotta watch out for chunks that'll jump out and hit you so as you can see we can make our way across this pretty good but as soon as we turn off onto this part we're gonna start sinking so if you guys can follow the big ice chunks that are out on the path you can usually like all around the water edges you can drive all along that so sometimes you have to kind of gun it to go across like a chunk like this to hopefully get up onto the next one there you go and then you can just follow this And that is sort of a, a way you guys can get 
some shortcuts in as uh, you don't, you, you know, you're you're cutting across the ice, but you're not really getting yourself stuck in the breakable ice over here. So that's sort of a... Alright guys, so this next tip is basically how you can um, skip gears. So if you look in the bottom right, we're in first. Slowly going up, we're in second. We're just holding the trigger. We're in third. And it should start going a little faster here. Fourth. Fifth. And now we got all these trees. And we got we got up to sixth right here. Alright, so I'm going to try and back down kind of to the same spot right when we hit the cement. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to just floor it. Except we're going to tap, because I'm playing on an Xbox controller, we're going to hit LB. So we're in second. Oh, we switched to third, and then we switched back. Third, fourth, fifth. And we're up into sixth already. Last time we didn't hit sixth until... I think it was right here. Something like that. So that is a little little trick you guys can use to accelerate faster. You can skip gears and obviously I was just spamming the button but if you were smart you'd kind of play it by ear and kind of be like oh okay now I can upshift and then okay now I can upshift and kind of how you saw it like there we just went from fifth to seventh. So if you're going fast you can kind of skip gears. I think most people probably already know this one but maybe not. So if you're driving we don't have chains on these tires. If you're driving up an icy hill like this, if you get your tires just even a little bit into the snow, you can climb it pretty easily. So I'll just try and show you guys here. We'll climb it without hitting the snow or trying not to. And we're starting to slip. I think we might have enough speed to actually make it up here. Oh, nope. Nope, we're running out. Alright, and that's it. Now we're going down. I'm still holding full throttle ahead. So as you guys can see, we are going back to the hill. We have no chains again. But instead of trying to gun it just up the hill, we're just going to kind of ride this left-hand side and we're just barely onto the snow. And you'll you'll see that we can go, I mean, we you can go deeper into the snow if you want, but as long as you're just barely onto it, it's going to give you uh, traction. Oops, probably turn on the all-wheel drive. That's not good. We're slipping out to the left in the middle though. Alright, let's just go back onto the edge again. And yeah, as long as you got your tires at least in, in the snow a little bit, you're going to have traction, or at least more traction. And so you can climb right up the hill as long as you're just even on a little bit of snow. Like you can see, we're barely on the snow right now. But it was enough to get us up this icy hill here. So that is a tip. I don't know. Probably most people know it. But if you don't, just even a, a little bit of snow. Like sometimes there's guardrails. And you can just ride right up next to the guardrail. And there's just enough snow to give you some traction. So that might be something that helps out some people. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.